Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing one that's very short and sweet and give you guys some tips about growing long, healthy hair. So first thing guys, I guess I cut my hair probably about like up here, which was there, probably about three years ago, I guess. And it was probably the worst decision I've ever made as far as my hair goes. Um, I think I was just going through like a weird stage. You know how like girls are like, if they go through something, they'll like to like change up themselves and like make a new look or something for themselves. But anyway, so I did cut my hair and I had cut like 10 or 11 inches off of it. So after that, I decided I was never gonna cut it that short ever, ever again. And I decided that I was going to let it grow. So one thing about my hair is I've always had, I guess, good hair. Um, but it w used to be like really dry and I wasn't really sure why it was like that. But I later found out that it was because I was using so much heat on it. I used to blow dry my hair and straighten it and I never really curled it, but straighten it and put so much heat on it every single day pretty much. So my first tip to you is in order to grow your hair out and make sure that it is healthy with little to no split ends is to not put as much heat on it. If you're not really going anywhere or you're just lounging around or you're going to put it in like a bun or like a ponytail or something like that, like my first tip to you would be don't put any heat on it. Let it air dry and that will help your hair so much. Tip number two is not to wash it every single day. Um, I know a lot of people that can go without washing their hair for <laughs> up to a week. I'm just not that type of person. I have very oily hair and a very dry scalp. So for me, I wash it every other day. And if I really just don't have a whole lot of plans, I can go up to probably every two days or something like that. Number three, make sure that you are brushing your hair quite a bit. You know, like in... Um, on like the Brady Bunch where Marsha is like brushing her hair all the time. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, really brush it though quite a bit. It stimulates the scalp and it just promotes hair growth. Number four, <laughs> number four um, is to do a coconut oil mask. I do this a lot. Honestly, I'm not that big about going and getting certain products to put in my hair. Um, because, uh, one, I just don't want to spend the money on it. And then, two, because I just feel like some of them are just kind of scams. And even though they say that they deep condition, I really can't tell the difference between a deep condition and, like, the regular condition that I use. So, um, I do like to do a coconut oil, just plain coconut oil. Especially do it on my ends and just get those really good and hydrated. Number... Five, I think we're on five now, but number five is just make sure that you're not using really drying shampoos. I know that hairstylists are going to tell you that in order to get your best hair that you have to use like name brand shampoo. Mm, I don't really think that to be honest and maybe it's just because I've never really been able to afford like $40 a month for shampoo and when your hair is this long you use a lot of shampoo and a lot of conditioner. So for me, I've just always used, honestly, I've used like a dander shampoo because I told you before, like my scalp gets really dry and um, I switch up my shampoos and conditioners quite often, but a big thing is I like to make sure that it's like sulfate free and all that, what is it, like pos, something else free that's apparently you're not supposed to have on your hair and when I when I look I'll link it down but I use that because that's supposed to be a lot better for your hair so you can grow your hair out really long like me all right guys thank you guys so much for watching I know that this video was a little bit random but I had a few minutes in my day and I would really been wanting to talk about my hair and how I keep it long and healthy. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.
Oh yeah, guys, another rule that I do with my hair is that I don't color it. This is its natural color. I just find that if you color it too often, then it definitely is going to just damage your hair. So another thing for me is I know that it's probably impossible to tell, especially as girls, not to color our hair, but color it as least amount as you can. If you have a certain color that you like, just make sure that you're being really healthy and taking really good care of it.